Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about Terra Luna. Now, the sort of chart it has started to form, it has had a small recovery since we made the last video and it's starting to look a little positive, but there are some negative news that have come out towards it. At the same time, we have some new info on what is going to happen with the airdrop of the new blockchain. Another very interesting regulation might be coming to USDT as UST failed and that could be from g7 there is a lot to talk about before we get into it if you're here for the first time do want to stay up to date with everything to do with luna i highly recommend you scroll down tap the red subscribe button while you're there slap a like on the video completely free to do so but it will just help the youtube algorithm push the video to more people more people see the incredible side of luna they decide to buy into it start spiking up and all of us make a lot of profit so make sure you go down and slap a like on it other than that let's get straight into it so to begin with today's video before we look at the one hour chart i want to share with you guys a very important important news which is actually very important for the whole of the Luna community. Now it is very clear that the new blockchain which is going to be Luna 2.0 is 100% going to be released. So there are some important pointers you need to know about. Kayvon says Terra collecting snapshot data for Luna airdrop. So what does that mean? Terra founder Du Kayvon said blockchain is in the process of collecting data from major exchanges for the upcoming Luna airdrop as they will have to know how much Luna for the new creation to be handed out to what wallet? How will airdrop play out? Under the proposal for the hard fork, the community pool of Luna holders will receive 30% of the new Luna supply. Holders from prior to the crash will receive 35%, while those who bought it in the crash will receive 10% which is a significant drop compared to the people who held it before. UST holders on Anchor prior to the crash will receive 10% of the supply, while those who became holders after the crash will receive 15%. So it's actually better to purchase UST after the crash compared to before. Additionally, the proposal for hard fork will also execute Terraform Labs entirely from the new blockchain, making Terra V2 completely community owned. An old cave on interview suggest that this aspect of terror recovery plan may have been part of the pre-planned kill switch protocol now this is really interesting because yes they are obviously going to go ahead and now release the new Luna and make this one Luna original that we know right now. They're obviously going to be doing the airdrop and try to collect as much data as possible from exchanges so it will be much easier for them to track. Now, this was pre-planned, which was going to be the kill switch protocol. So did they know that something like this will happen in the future where we will have to create a new Luna? and they had a plan i mean i guess they did have something they can fall back on but having a pre-plan for a kill switch is actually much different compared to having a safety net and also they did not use any of their reserves to try to protect luna in time so yes this was attacked it was not intentional but over time does that mean that they knew something like this was going to happen it's just a question that rose in my head. Another thing is they have not launched any D apps, so there is going to be a lot of people that will try to steal your ID. So please be very careful that you only listen to reliable news sources and also only verified news. So don't actually listen to random telegram emails or telegram messages that you'll receive because those ones will try to steal your money. Be very careful. Now, before we carry on looking at the chart, Terra is actually starting to hold its price now and comparatively what it was doing a couple of hours ago, now it is in a safety net as there are about three supports it has to go through to actually have a very massive drop. And for it to go above, there is only one resistance it has to break, which is close to 12. Even if it gets to 12 from the point we are right now, that is still close to a 10% to a 20% uptrend, which is close to 12%. Now, if it does decide to have a 12% jump up, it is obviously going to be much better compared to having a fall down. If we look at the RSI line, you can see it is back to life and now it is starting to go into the center zone and maybe 
might start climbing as the new blockchain gets released. I mean, the release of the new blockchain is going to be very scary as if it does decide to go negative, it could have a negative impact on this Luna token as well. Personally, I'm really excited to see how they're going to play all of it out. And you can see the trading volume is starting to increase a tiny bit. And that could also be seen on coin market cap. As you can see, we are above the 400 million market, but the market cap is actually falling down. Overall, trading volume to the market cap ratio is sitting close to 60%, which is significantly higher compared to a couple of hours ago when it was sitting close to 40%. Now, G7, which is seven different countries, including US and some big names, G7 urges a financial stability board to hasten the crypto regulatory policy. Now, if this goes through where they will be you know, putting a lot of regulations on crypto, this could have a very negative impact on the whole market. And this was a lunar crash was one of the main reasons why a lot of big countries started putting more stricter regulations on crypto. Regulation crypto beam search light on stable coins following Terra crash. G7 urges regulators to make crypto regulations a priority. Now, UK regulators, another thing which just keeps getting worse for crypto due to this big crash so uk is trying to target all the stable coins to make sure that over time they do not do something similar to what ust did and put regulations on it as they are probably going to be allowing more people to earn more money and if they do decide to put it into stable coin and it declines a lot of people will lose money so they're going to try to put regulations on it and that would be a little scary the fca has escalated plans to roll out a regulatory framework for stable coins u.s regulators are seeking more details on the terror stable coin structure total stable coin supply has declined 12 percent as investors cash out of crypto this is a little scary when it comes to the whole of the crypto market as if ust does decide to get a lot of regulations on it that could also slow down the momentum for bitcoin ethereum and all the major altcoins another thing which is a little good in a way burn remaining Terra UST vote passed but failed to execute due to technical issues. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to burn as much UST they can, but there was some, let's just say technical issues. After launching a proposal to create a new chain, they should make sure that Luna Classic is going to be Luna C, but they want to make sure that the new Luna will not be connected to UST. Another thing which is a little scary is another top American exchange is going to be holding UST trading after Coinbase and the one we're talking about is Gemini. Now this one is also a very big trading platform and it's actually widely used by a lot of people. So another company going against UST and Luna, it is not a good idea. And finally, I want to talk about FX Street. I do not like what they talked about here. Luna price has turned into a crypto zombie with no revival to come. Terra Luna dropped on the back of Terra, losing its peg to US dollar. With the dented image and lost trust from investors, a turnaround is looks unlikely. I do agree with that because they're not actually doing anything to try to bring the trust back the only way they can save the token is if they can get everyone's trust and everyone's investment back into the token but they're not doing much to do that other than that let me know down in the comment section what you guys think i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace